Good evening, everybody. My name is Winus Andor. Welcome one, welcome all to another edition of Andar Place. It's great to be here with all of you today. We're going to be playing Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor. It's, an, it's a game from developer and publisher 5Amp, who have already published Merge Crafter and Pink Crafter, two titles under their belt. So uh, Nimrod's is a bullet hell game, as you would imagine. Um, a lot of games are these days, but... This particular game is a little bit special, and I've enjoyed playing it simply because it does one thing that a lot of bullet games do not do, which is instead of focusing on leveling up your character or just adding weapons, it focuses exclusively on the gun that you are using at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and play the game and you'll see what I mean. Um, you have a gun, right, and you use that gun in your missions, and every upgrade that you get adds to that particular gun. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start a mission. Uh, let's see what we have. Um, we'll choose from the weapons that we have. You can select from a plethora of weapons, and each weapon gets upgraded throughout your run. You don't get to change your weapons afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and take the assault rifle, because, you know, who doesn't like it? There is an auto fire, auto aim if you want to enable or disable both, it's up to you. Every time you level up, instead of actually leveling up, what happens is a supply drop container um, hits a battlefield. You touch said supply drop container, you level up, and you get to add an upgrade to your weapon. The upgrade is not only aesthetic, it is also functional. You get to choose an enchanted bayonet. Um, all the details about the upgrade are displayed both in the center descriptive text and also in the stats to the right-hand side. So this would increase crit chance, crit bonus, airdrop capacity. The other one is rate of fire, vision range. And the last one is gyroscopic, gyroscopic harness. It gives us bullet damage, size, reduces rate of fire, and increases penetration. We will take it. So you can see aesthetically, um, it does change, you know. The gun shapes changes, the way the gun looks changes. And you would notice that we have actually started firing slower, but we are penetrating the enemy. Hitting more... More enemies with each bullet, but at a slower rate. It's up to you the kind of gun that you want to craft to go for slow and heavy damage or fast-paced uh, attacks with lower damage. Up to you. Bullet count. Uh, let's go ahead and get knockback power because I don't know. Maybe that might be pretty good. We'll see how that works. Yeah, it is in fact knocking them back. I love the sound effects. They're quite, you know, quite immersive. Quite. Um, they pack a punch and a pull you in. It's pretty good. Do we want rate of fire, armor, uh, more bullet damage, crit chance? I will, in fact, take the crit chance. That kind of feels like something that would be quite beneficial. Um, after you finish a run, you can give the gun that you have uh, to your drone. You can actually store all the guns that you manufacture at base that you assemble, and then share them with your drone and other minions that you might get along the way. So that's pretty cool as well. So instead of the character, the title basically focuses um, on the gun that you are using. That is the chief protagonist of the story. Not the character himself, but the gun that you assemble. Um, let's go and get penetration resource. No, bullet damage is good. Bullet size and collection range seem like a no-brainer to me. The faster you can collect stuff, the easier it is. Get EXP. Wow, those bullets are chunky. Uh, we also have special abilities, as you can see at the bottom. Space activates your first special ability, which is basically enhancement of stats, speed, attack speed, etc. 
Um, right click activates the secondary effect of your weapon, which is determined by the mods that you attach to it. So in this case, we have kind of like ice bullets. Um, there are such things as elemental damage in this game. The XP meter is at the top of the screen in case you're wondering where that is. Uh, crit chance, vision range, more crit chance, max energy charges. Yeah, we'll actually go ahead and get that. Like a good idea. They're doing a significant amount of damage at the moment. Now, let's go and get crit bonus bullet size. Yeah, let's go with fat bullets. Because apparently that is what we are aiming for. Let's go. Yeah. Then subsequently the run uh, begins to get filled up by these weird ass big monsters that just populate the screen, take up like most of the screen space. It's pretty good. But like I said, the highlight of this game is not the quality of the enemies or anything. The art style, while being pretty decent, is not bringing like anything revolutionary or new to the table. What is really cool is the gun. Focus on the gun. That's what this game is all about. Mm, bullet damage, reload speed, armor more bullet damage. I'll actually take the bullet damage because it also inflicts chilled on the enemy, which I feel could actually be pretty good. Those enemies are splitting into more enemies. It is a bit of a pain. I've never actually finished a, finished a run in this game yet. I mean, I made some really cool ships, but I've never actually finished an entire run. Like, the game does get... It does have a difficulty curve that scales uh, quite quickly, so that's interesting enough. Reload speed, healing, bullet damage. Yeah, max health. That's, that looks good. Well, so far so good. Uh, we gotta pick up their penetrations bullet count. Mm, crit chance, credit drops. Now I'll actually go with a crit chance. I feel like that's pretty good. We got a level up right there. Well done. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and get bullet uh, under barrel recharge rate and the ability recharge rate, which feel like something that would uh, that would help us in the long run. It really would be beneficial. So we will take it. In terms
sense of the map, the enemies, etc., the game is very much like Vampire Survivors. But the emphasis on customizing the weapon is what makes it like really, really cool. Okay, so far so good. I'm doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and take armor, health chance, no. Fire rate would actually be pretty good. Alright, so far so good. We're doing fairly well. There are objective markers on the screen, but when you're so focused on the center of the screen on the action, um, sometimes you tend to ignore them, though they're there. Take a second to breathe, look around, notice them. Yeah, there it is. I have no idea actually how to get through this door. Like, no clue. We gotta level up. Special power sounds good, but more crit chance is always excellent. We managed to get through all these enemies with our right click power. And there's a boss. Be careful. Alright, we killed the boss. Uh, penetration's bullet count sounds like a good idea. More crit chance certainly sounds great. We'll take it. I thought killing the boss would open up the door, but clearly not. Alright, let's go and get rate of fire. Yeah, 2.2. Yep, I'll take that. It's a rubber ducky attached to our pistol. Sounds fantastic. Yeah, sound effects are pretty satisfactory. Overall, decent game. The art style is good, but the real standout feature is the fact that it focuses entirely on your gun. Exclusively, all your upgrades, your entire character build, so to speak, is focused on your gun. I kind of like that. I really, really like that. Uh, let's get and get another level up. Um, XP, uh, bullet damage. I think at this point we'll start getting XP because it does feel like our XP gains are dropping off.
Alright, so far so good. I'm doing better than I did in my previous runs. Bullet size and collection range is something that I really never give up on. It just makes sense to have it, you know. So more, uh, more objects you collect, more exp nodes you collect the faster you level up so there's really no reason to ignore those particular upgrades oh we got a collector's orb collected everything really all right so far so good a rate of fire health yeah, XP gain rate seems like a great idea right now. Okay, we're losing a lot of HP. I'm also partially sleepy. It's been an exhausting day, so I gotta be careful. Okay, right, so far so good. Let's go and get rate of fire and dodge. Yeah, move speed, bullet speed seems like a good idea. Alright, so far so good. And we end up dead. And that's Nimrods for you. In a nutshell, it's about ensuring that you get a gun that you like and then using that throughout your uh, run to defeat all your enemies and hopefully finish the run. If not, you end up dead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gun and give it to my robot. There you go. We exchanged it. I get to keep this particular gun. I will actually sell it. I haven't seen any point in keeping the older guns, honestly. But you can if you wanted to. So for example, let me just sell that. I'll collect the gun that's lying over here. You can, in fact, put it in the storage bay, and it'll sit there. All right, let's try it one more time. Uh, this time we'll go out and take the shotgun. Yeah, I thought we had like multiple characters to select for some reason. Let's go ahead and get some EXP. Yeah, reload speed, bullet speed sounds like a good idea. I've never actually come very far in this run, which is why it's a bit surprising. Even I don't actually know what's going to happen going forward. I will take the collection range, just makes sense.
Just gonna get more rate of fire. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, the game is smooth. It has no uh, bugs that I have seen. Uh, presents itself pretty well. And as long as the dev keeps adding choices, enemies, more maps, etc., the game would be pretty well received. Honestly, focusing on the weapons, allowing a wide variety of weapon builds, I feel was like a wonderful move. It makes the title stand out in a sea of bullet hell games, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, I think we got a level up over here. I'll actually go ahead and collect that. Uh, we get bullet speed reload, okay. Uh, we'll, change, we'll change the gun stock. It should allow us to fire faster. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and get magazine size. Kind of feels like a good idea. Okay, this run seems to be a little bit on the blessed side because I'm doing so well. Ah, I wasn't able to fall down. And in fact, it's been an exhausting day that even I get a little bit tired from time to time. But I hope you guys got the point of what Nimrods is. As a bullet hell game, I feel like it gets a lot of things right in that it focuses on um, the guns, it focuses on buffing the guns, and through the guns, the player's character stats. And I feel like that's pretty good. The art style is quite good, solid. The base looks great. The companion drone is pretty good. Um, I would recommend this game if you like bullet hell genre. It holds up really well. It performs really well. I haven't seen any bugs to date. Um, the alien creatures are interesting. The art style is good. Um, yeah. If at all, I, I really don't have any suggestions to improve this in so much as saying add more varieties of weapons, maybe, but and more upgrade varieties. But other than that, um, the game is very well poised in its own niche. Um, this has been Nimrods. If you guys want to uh, wishlist the game, um, try out the demo. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, uh, hit that like button, um, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time. My name is Vinasandar. This has been Nimrods. Cheers.